Welcome to the new arrival safety program developed by Vic Roads and the Transport Accident Commission. This training is brought to you by Wimmera Development Association and Driver Education and Training Services. My name is Joe. I will be presenting this presentation to you today. All the information presented is correct as of March 2021. Please check for any amendments to road rules if viewing a future date. Session one, key risk factors for road users. In this session, you will be introduced to road safety in Victoria, including why road safety is important, the role everyone needs to play as a driver, passenger, pedestrian or cyclist, and also the role adults play in child safety. Why is road safety so important? In Victoria, every year about 250 people are killed in crashes. 6,000 people are seriously injured. A serious injury means somebody was admitted to hospital. Vision Zero. In Victoria, we are working towards Vision Zero. Vision Zero is about no deaths or serious injuries on the Victorian roads. To do this, we need to make a safe system for everyone who uses the road. Safe systems takes account of interaction between roads, vehicles, speeds, and road users. It accepts that people make mistakes on the roads, but with the safe system model, if a mistake is made, the impact is seriously reduced by having safer roads, safer vehicles, safer speeds and safer people. The safe system approach is only effective when rules are obeyed, such as keeping to the speed limits, avoiding dangerous driving, as well as having safe roads and safe vehicles. This video explains more about safe systems. Welcome to the SAFE system. The vision of a SAFE system approach is for there to be no death and no serious injury on Victoria's roads. We believe that we can achieve this when every company, every group and every person, the whole community takes responsibility for road safety. To help achieve this goal in Victoria, a SAFE system philosophy has been adopted. It places our health and well-being first and aims to eliminate death and serious injury on the roads through safer vehicles, safer roads, safer speeds and safer people. Many factors contribute to road trauma. That's why it's so important to create a safe system that ensures every Victorian gets home safely. What are the key risks for people using the road? There are seven key risks for road users that will be looked at now. One, driving faster than the speed limit or the road conditions. Not wearing seatbelts or using child restraint. Driving after drinking alcohol or taking drugs. Being distracted while driving. Driving when you are tired. Walking near traffic. Riding a bicycle. Driving faster than the speed limit or for the conditions. This video shows how cars are tested for safety in Australia. This also shows the link between speed and the impact in a crash. The faster a vehicle travels, the greater the impact in a crash, or more likely it is that there will be very serious injuries or death in a crash. The faster a vehicle travels, the more difficult it is to avoid a crash.
driving faster than the speed limit or for the conditions. Speed limits are set to make it safe for all people using the road. It is illegal to drive over the speed limit. Drivers must travel at or below the speeds shown on speed signs. Speed limits are strictly enforced by the police. The police in Victoria use the latest technologies for speed detection, including fixed and mobile speed cameras and laser speed guns. Not wearing a seatbelt or using a child restraint. Risk of death or serious injury in a crash or sudden stop is reduced significantly if a seatbelt is worn. Wearing a seatbelt can reduce the risk of death by up to 50% for drivers and front seat passengers. Also up to 70% for rear seat passengers. Not wearing a seatbelt can cause serious injury or death even when traveling at a low speed. It is the law in Victoria for the driver and all passengers in the front and rear seats to wear correctly adjusted seatbelts. And for children to be seated in a child restraint, children must be seated in, in a restraint that is designed for their size and body weight. Driving after drinking alcohol or taking drugs. Driving after drinking alcohol increases the risk of being involved in a crash. Even at moderate levels of blood alcohol concentration, crash risk is increased. Crash risk increases dramatically at high levels of BAC. In Victoria, a learner, probationary or professional driver must drive with a, with a zero blood alcohol concentration. Professional drivers are those who drive a truck, bus, taxi, and etc. All other drivers must be under 0.05 blood alcohol concentration. If you are going to drive, it is safer to avoid drinking. Drink driving is a serious issue and is actively enforced by the police. Illegal drugs and some legal prescription drugs increase the risk of being involved in a crash. The combination of drugs mixed with alcohol is a, is a very serious problem. Victoria is one of the few places in the world where police test drivers for illegal drugs. Distracted while driving. Distractions while driving are when your eyes are not looking at the road. It includes things such as using mobile phones, navigation devices, entertainment systems or air conditioning controls, and also eating and drinking while driving. This is how now shown to be a major cause of crashes. In 500 meters, turn right. Distracted for just two seconds at 50 kilometers an hour, you'll travel 27 meters blind. <laughs> Driving when you are tired. Driving when you are tired, fatigued, or feeling drowsy is a factor in about one in five crashes in Victoria. This is caused by not getting enough sleep, driving at the end of a busy or active day, driving at times when you would normally be asleep, such as late at night or early in the morning. It is a serious problem for shift workers. If you feel drowsy when driving, you should stop in a safe place off the road and take a 15 minute power nap. Drowsiness is a sign that you are already falling asleep. All day, sleep inducing chemicals have been building up in your brain. 
and they'll eventually send you to sleep. You may think you can fight it, but you have no conscious control over when sleep happens. Walking near traffic. We all walk on and near roads regularly. Almost one in five people killed on Victoria's roads are walking. Most people walking who are injured or killed were crossing the road. People who are walking and involved in a crash often may not have obeyed road signs and signals, be affected by alcohol, be distracted by using a mobile phone, be hard for drivers to see, such as wearing dark or dull coloured clothing. These are main causes of crashes involving pedestrians. Riding a bicycle. Riding a bicycle is a great way to get about. It is best to avoid busy or high speed roads and instead use off-road bicycle paths and quiet streets. Like walking, you are very vulnerable in a crash. Most bicycle crashes happen at an intersection, around 61%. So you need to take extra care. You need to make sure that you wear a helmet at all times. They are required by law. Follow the same rules as other vehicles when you cycle on the road. But there are some special rules for cyclists. Wear bright and light coloured clothing and something reflective. Have a light on the front and a light and a reflector on the rear of the bicycle when you ride at night. Thank you for watching this presentation. For more information, please visit any of the following websites.